Hi everybody, Robert here. In this video, we're going to look at this plank again, but we're going to use a beam system, uh, and we're going to use our precast plank. I'm going to just show you one out here. Uh, it's going to be a beam. I'm just going to draw one here, and let's go and have a look at this family. So I just select it, and we'll go edit family here so we can see what this is looking like. Now, this is the teardrop. This is a span creep type they use there. I don't know if they still span creep, but yeah, I made this there a few years ago. Now, I showed you how to make these. You're using your own AutoCAD uh, profiles in the prior video. So we're going to use this one because... Okay, so now the, the best way to do this as before, you seen we struggle with the size and edges. Well, I'm going to get this guy out of here as well. We struggled around with it. The ray worked pretty good. But if we go this route, so let's go do a beam system. So I'm going to go structure uh, beam system. And then I'm going to just do a rectangular shape here. I want to offset this minus one inch. And then I want to go from this one inch off of this seat on this beam all the way to this one. Okay. Now I get my span going the right direction. We want to go this way, the sure span. And then here, over here in the properties, this is where you select your beam type. So we've got everything sorted in here. Um, I'm going to go with this 12 inch, I think. And then uh, we're going to go with this clear, clear spacing. No, I'm going to go, let's go, let's just play around with this for a minute. I'll go max spacing. Uh, let's see what we got here, just to see. Okay, I got, an, I got an area. So now we'll just undo that. And we'll go again. We'll go with uh, fixed distance. Let's see what happens there. Okay. So now what we can do here, uh, let's go look at this in 3D view. I'm going to undo that back. So you can see what happened, and then we went to here. So we got a spacing issue here. So all you have to do to edit this, you can select this. You can select the entire beam system, and then go to your properties. And so this is a fixed distance, so this seems to be overlapping. So let's see what happens if we say zero here. Nope, that won't work. Okay, so let's go with this one with. Maximum spacing. Okay, that won't work. Anybody notice? Let me know. Uh, well, max spacing. Oh, I right hear. I'll go here. I guess this would be eight. And apply. There we go. So that would be that side, and then. You can just let it go right there. And now, as you can see, the, my edges worked out a little better and everything. Not, I mean, that's better than what we had before. So now let's do this other side. Back right to our plan drawing. Now, actually, what happens here now with these beam systems they're really good if you keep them together. Now we got an issue here. We need one more here. And, and doing that array thing, I could add it, but here I actually have to uh, drop it. And so I'm going to drop it now, just so while we're over on this side. So what you do, you hit remove beam system. So now these are all individual pieces. And see, now I see some issues where I might want to go back and fix, but I'll do it on the other side. So now here, I want to just copy this piece. I'm going to copy it eight. I'm 
no constraint actually. Let's go eight. Okay, so now here I want to cut this one short. Let's go to our 3D view as well. And let's put a little tile here. Tap these views. Okay, so here's our 3D view. And I want to go in my framing plan view. So I'm going to just close all inactive. And I'll bring my framing up. Those are the only two drones I really need to see here. So I'm going to tile these. <coughs> so now, we got to deal with this guy right here. So what we can do, we can select this family. And I'll go to my properties here. And I can change the width, the cut length here. I'm going to say four feet. And that's a pretty decent cut. Right down the middle of the little um, now I should be able to move this right into here or I can align it even I think I'll just move it so we'll move that right in there Yep, it fits in okay. So we know that. Okay, so now we can do the other th other thing other. Well, normally, yeah, they want normally they want the cut piece on the inside as well. So now I'm gonna go do this other side here. Same thing basically. Um, one of those beam system. And that's what I want to use. I got my beam and my beam type, which is the plank. And then I want to offset this in negative one. Okay, so we'll go start from here. Oops. here and we'll go all the way down just like we did before it's probably a better way to do this and stop at this point <coughs> and we'll get our span of course in that direction and okay this should be eight that'll be eight and then I'm going to go finish. Okay, so there's our other side. And then with this one, again, you can just go in here. I don't know what this is going to be, but okay, I can't find it, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay, I've got to change something here. Okay. Oh, it's a beam system. See, can't do anything with that guy unless he drop it. So I'm going to remove it because I think we're all good. Okay, now I grab this guy and I change this to... Let's say six. Yeah, I can live with that. I'm not going to quibble over that. So that's how that's done. So now, uh, the next thing we want to do, we want to go and show you how we would create openings here. So now, since we dropped our beam system, 
and everything. You can do a series of opening types that should work pretty well. Say, for instance, over here, we would do is go into our structure tab and uh, cut by face. Uh, this allow you to cut in, in the beam, so you just select it, and then you go and do your sketch. Say right, you can do something like that. You never know. Precast. Okay, so that one didn't cut the full host. Oh, I know why. That's a different, a different uh, family. So I have to do that on that side. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just undo that. And put, so now we got our our plank. So now uh, we need the cover on this. So to do the cover, it's pretty simple. But we want to do a, a topping. So we're going to do this side and then the other side. And to simply do that is, you just go here and you just go ahead and do a floor and make a structural floor. So we'll go to structure and we'll go to floor and I'm going to structural floor. And then I want to do another sketch. Um, okay, I need to fix that on that end. Let's just do it here. I'll just do it on this side and conclude this video. So this we don't need an offset. We can just go straight from here. But well, that's okay. All the way down to here. And then uh, we can change the span as well. And I want to finish that. Now, what I want to do now, I want to undo this space because I, I, I want to set my level for the floor. So this is a 12 inch floor. Uh, where is it? Here, this concrete floor, and I'm on this plan. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish that floor. And then I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to hide all of these. Well, I'll do a temporary hide here. Oh, I didn't get, oh, wrong view. Sorry. <laughs> I'll go over here now. If I go over here, and select this guy, and I want to hide. This category. So the, there's my floor now. Let's get this floor and look at it. If this in uh, this view, and where is this floor at level? So now we want to edit this floor. We don't need it to be 12 inch. Normally this is a three inch thing. So I'm going to duplicate this, uh, and I'm going to call this three inch. This will be three inch lightweight concrete. And just say OK. And then I'll go ahead and edit the structure. And then I've got my precast. I just need to make this three inches now. And let's go look at this in preview. Yep, that's what I need. This three inch concrete. And then I'm going to say OK here. And then. Uh, Yep, there's my three inch concrete. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on my everything just to see where that floor is. So I didn't get that right elevation or exact. So I'm gonna go right there. Okay, so this has gotta go up a few inches. So I'm gonna uh, push this up about four inches. So then it'll be one foot four. See what happens. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So we'll shut that guy down there. So now uh, back into our 3D view. 
So there's our concrete topping. And then we can do this on the other side. And let's fix this guy over here first, because I, I forgot about this one here. So we need a, a, another piece here. So I'm going to just copy this guy over to here. And then this will be a cut piece. Uh, I'll just cut that. I don't want to go, um, I don't have, the minimum, my minimum is going to be about three for these. But like, again, like I always tell you guys, don't go try to build this. So I'm going to go with four. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now here, let's do the floor on this side. So we'll go back into our structure, our floor. And then I just want to go, okay, well, there you go. I want to go from here. I should have said my level already, but that's okay. Uh, go from here to here. And this is the wrong floor. Okay, let's cancel that. Okay, cancel that. Now let's do this again. I'm going to go structure, floor. And this is the floor I created. Where is it? There it is. That's the one I want. Look at here. All the way to here. Let me get my span. And I should be able to finish this. Okay, now again, I didn't get my level. I need to find that floor here. What level was this one? I just had this, that, this level. One four. Okay, so I'm gonna find that floor. There it is. I'm gonna make that up four inches. Okay, so there we go. Precast. Now another thing you can do is you can select this guy. I used to do this, and then you want to go into um, you select this. You want to right click, and you want to go to um, Override Graphics and View by Element here, and you want to go to Transparency. Just take it down halfway. Or whatever. Click apply. Okay. So there's your concrete topping on top of precast. Uh, so we go here now. Same thing. Just give it a little transparency. Maybe not that much. Let's see how this looks. Override graphics in view by element. And I'll go to transparency again. This. Oh, let's go about here. Apply. Okay. I like that a little better, but it doesn't matter. But hey, guys, uh, now let's see how an opening would work here. I've never tried this with two. Okay, let's see what happens here. I've got to probably cut this twice. Oh, I know what I have to do. So to do an opening, you have to cut the floor first. So basically, this is probably what's going to have to happen here. Um, we're going to go grab the floor. You know what, guys? I'm going to leave it there. I don't like to do long videos, but I just wanted to really break this down, how this is done. So I'm going to edit this boundary here. And I'm going to just do a little opening right here. That's in the floor. And I want to finish that. OK. So now we have to do here, um, 
can't see that over here. Let's go up top here. So it's that one. So I'm going to highlight this one. Oh, come on now, guys. There it is. So I'm going to go on this, this one, put this in wireframe. Still can't see it. Okay, this is going to be a toughie. So I'm going to do this. Uh, let me see if this will work. Uh, I'm going to go cut face. And I'll just pick this one. I wish I could see the thing. I want to just do a little small one here, I guess. Okay. So, well, at least I can do this now. <coughs> I can edit the sketch. I'm just sort of eyeball that in because I can't see the other. Uh, well, I can do it that way. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, uh, let's see if we can get this in. Appreciate everybody watching. Please subscribe to this channel. This is the BIM channel. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty good, I think. Uh, let's see how we're looking here. So that's how you would do that. So you can glue your plank and then your concrete over, do openings and whatever. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Everybody, please subscribe and please be safe. Bye.